taking time to record. Yeah, okay. Things that we have already started. Great. Hope everyone is doing great. Maybe someone from uh, Ten Academy can help me allow people in because I see some people are pending to join. Maybe I'll do that. Okay. Um, so great. Um, this is Wednesday. Uh, hope everyone is doing great. Uh, welcome to today's stand up, which is going to be led by me, Agarist. And I hope you guys are doing great and uh, you are really on track towards the submissions as we are having two submissions for this week's challenge uh, today and also Saturday. But before we, we start, let's hear from the team if we have some quick announcements. Uh, maybe Yabber, Mary and others. Do you have any quick announcements? None from my end, Avaris. All right. Mm. So let's let's get started. So it looks some people are joining, and uh, today we are going to, as I mentioned yesterday, we are trying to, we are making improvements on the how the stand ups are going to be conducted. Uh, we are working towards that, but we are we are yet to implement your suggestions, and uh, we will communicate to you when this is done. Probably there are some some improvements that we have to make but let's continue the way we, we used to do it but now you will tell us about how your your group is doing towards the the tasks and also how are you guys managing up managing to submit on time and also the challenges you are having the questions you can ask as uh, tutors on the core uh the bay is on the call as well so guys welcome so let's kick off and start by binyam and as I always mentioned so i need people to volunteer to speak up and also share their yeah their feelings how they are doing in groups instead of me calling them randomly so let's, let's start by binyam then we go next to geza and next to martin all right. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you for the opportunity, Everest. Uh, so, to give you an update on my team's progress, uh, we're actually becoming more and more uh, like a good team uh, as, as each day progresses. Uh, we're doing great. Uh, I think we're on track to completing the task before uh, today's deadline. Uh, other than that, uh, I'm learning a lot from my teammates. Uh, I'm actually impressed how much I, I've managed to learn uh, just by taking, a, uh, by only doing a few of the tasks and uh, the others handling uh, the other tasks. Yet we're all learning a lot more than we could. We would have learned it if we had, if we did the tasks uh, alone. So that's great. Uh, other than that, we haven't faced any blockers. Uh, We've managed to solve them uh, through team effort, so and that's where we stand right now. Thank you. Thank you for my team and for uh, the opportunity. Thank you, Binya. Uh, maybe a follow-up question. How did you come up to the conclusion of what language you are going to deal with? So we have Swahili and also we have Amuhalik. So, how did you decide on that in within the group? Yeah, uh, we didn't actually uh, discuss uh, on uh, what language to use. We, we just uh, picked uh, one and started uh, working on it. Uh, we're not actually worried about uh, the specifics of the language. Uh, we're trying to build uh, functions uh, that are somewhat uh, general purpose. Mm -hmm. Uh, because at this stage in our uh, analysis, the type of language doesn't really matter that much. So we're uh, basically working just a portion of the Amharic uh, 
uh, <clears throat> language samples. Okay. Thanks, great. Um, so you think you're on track on submitting of the first interim submission? Yes, I believe we do, and uh, we are on track. All right, thanks for sharing. Uh, let's hear from Gezain. Then the next person is Martin. I also need other hands to be up. So we need to hear from the rest of the team. Okay. Uh, thanks, Musa. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you better. Okay, to make you give you some updates about our start time, we have been distributed our tasks uh, to individuals. We decide tasks which can be done by individuals and by groups. Uh, according to that, uh, we try to complete some of the tasks. But we have uh, one challenge. Uh, I think uh, if the tutors are a part of this call, uh, uh, I expect some answers for it. Uh, my question is, uh, from the task 1.1, uh, uh, there is a requirement to convert uh, mono uh, WAV files to stereo. Uh, our question, our good question is, uh, why we do that? What's the purpose of converting mono files, audio files to stereo files? Increase sizes plus computable increase, increase with that. So why we do that? Uh, my question, uh, uh, first question. The second question, how how do we convert those mono files to uh, stereo files? Uh, this was our uh, challenge uh, and we have discussed about it uh, in the morning before this meeting. Uh, the rest uh, uh, as goes smoothly. And, uh, we are working fine still now. Okay, thanks, Giza. So, anyone from the tutor, maybe Yabubi as well, if you were able to understand the question from Giza, can provide the response. If not possible, also Giza, you can yeah, also no, type that question. I, sorry, like I, I missed half the question, but I think it's the one part about the mono and the stereo. It's the same as RGB versus, um, you know, like using only a gray image, right? So this is how you record it. So in a way, when you have like multiple sounds, you try to always just convert it into something that is standard, like RGB, for example, because you lose information. So I think it's just, you know, definitely uh, sound recorded in stereo has a much better, as you can imagine, like a uh, picture that is only gray image will have, will lose information. And so you try to keep as much as possible the information so that you can earn. Um, and then in real life, you know, whether it's recorded, if you, whether it's recorded in mono or whether it's recorded in stereo, that you at least have a certain, you know, kind of uh, stability. So hopefully that that addresses your question. Uh, yeah, uh, but uh, uh, we have a lot of uh, samples, uh, samples. So uh, the first thing, uh, are we going to merge first before we convert them to stereo? Uh, and the, the importance of having the stereo, the stereo is very clear. Uh, because we are going what? to the importance of making them converting them to stereo is very clear because uh, we are going to uh, make some models and those models need a clear and stable data for yeah. that we can uh, convert them to stereo but the question is uh, the first thing how do we convert them and the last thing uh, it uh, increases the uh, competition uh, because those files will have a large size uh, when they convert it to stereo sure but i mean i i think that's not a good reason in terms of like the the computation is like okay of course always you do what you can but you know in my opinion that you just do whatever is necessary to make you know yeah. i think the the descriptions there it would it's not sometimes always suitable only for for the element that that you are that you can use right there 
but it's also what is like the kind of practice that you do if you have more data, you know, from a variety, like some, some that are recorded in stereo and some that are recorded in, in mono, you would have to in any way make them, um, you know, together. It's like, so in that case, you definitely would, don't want to go from one to another. So in terms of how, I think, you know, as simple as just a copy is, is sufficient. But I think you can always, of course, try to see uh, what are the best practices in that, you know, adding some kind of noise could also be advisable. So I would say just check it, what are the best practices in that. Okay, thank you very much. Thanks, everybody. Um, yes, I am ho hopefully that you, you get a sense of what, of your question. Yeah, and sure. also, I hope your your group mates are also on the call, so you can they can also probably uh, have a sense of it. And yeah, you can also keep reaching on Slack with the same question if you keep uh, struggling with it. Let's hear from Patty. Hi, Martin. All right. Uh, thank you. I don't know whether you can be able to hear me. Yeah. Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, thank you. So uh, for me and my team, uh, we have been working quite well. Uh, we have been able to complete the tasks uh, that are meant for today. And uh, we are going to be delivering. We understood the problem because that is like the most important thing. Uh, also, we uh, were able to try out different techniques uh, with the data so that you can be able to uh, visualize and get the most features that we could uh, from the particular data set that is uh, from from the from the web from the web files and uh, we are uh, we have been able to uh, do complete the pre-processing now we want to begin uh, modeling the data and we are going to hopefully we we'll get to deploy it by today evening uh, we hope we'll be able to complete uh, modeling and evaluating it, then you can be able to deploy it by today evening. What you are waiting for is the uh, the servers that uh, Yabibel had promised. Uh, that's the only thing that might be uh, we might be really waiting for right now. Yeah, thank you. Okay, thanks. Um, I hope also Yabibel have noted that that he's going to help out. So there is not any broker from your team, Martin? Oh, no, no, not at all. Okay. So let's hear from other people. Um, let's talk with the, the team. So I don't see any hand. Um, the nothing to be foreign people. But I would, guys, advise you to always be like volunteering to speak because this is not something that we are let's say we are forcing you to do but it's your you you need to be well prepared for this this is for you for the future so like nobody is born to to be an introvert or extrovert something you can develop as you go so if you you you're willing to everyone is having an idea um, is also having something to share let's keep the the same uh behavior so let's keep this so uh, share because the team needs to hear from you so thanks eden and also matilda so let's hear from eden then the next person is matilda and yeah i will i hope that i will keep seeing some hands so let's move on with uh eden Okay, um, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Um, Martin said most of the things to be said as a group. Uh, and I'm grateful that we are progressing and we are in a good state over in the overall. Uh, yesterday, I was mostly researching the different deep learning architectures in order to implement the modeling since we have finished the pre-processing stage and I'm also writing about it in order to finish our interim report. And I'm glad that we're 
all working together and I'm thankful for my teammates. Thank you. Thanks, I think I, I just want to add here, they, you won't finish the pre-processing step. Um, it is an iterative process. And you realize, of course, a lot of your result will depend on how you process, especially not only the audio, but also the text, not only the, you know, the features, but also the, um, the target themselves. So that basically yeah. Is the labels, the text speeches, because they are not in you know, a good format. Like yes, I... and, and all that. So just to comment on that, yeah. Yes, I, I just meant to say that we're finished most of the things regarding the pre-processing stage because we're doing the modeling part. But I understand you because we're going back and forth to the pre-processing stage as we've learned more um, results when while we're doing the modeling part. Great. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Eden, for sharing. And let's hear from Matilda. And also, let let people be prepared to, to share. Um, good morning, guys. I hope you can hear me. Good morning, Hello, Matilda. Good morning. Yeah. Very well. Okay. Okay. So. Um, I think Bingham has said all that it is from our group. We have been working collaboratively. Everyone assigned task, tasks for um, task one. And so far, so good. We're hoping that we will be able to finish. Okay, rather to, um, to do task one by the end of today and get on to the reports. So yeah, thank you. Right, thanks, Matilda. And um, which group are you? Uh, you mentioned. Uh, do, do we have someone from your group who, who, who talked before? Yes, Binyam. Binyam was from my group. Okay. All right. Hopefully, that you're on track. Uh, yeah, with the tasks and also with the deadlines, as you know them. And thanks for sharing, Matilda. Let's hear from Daisy and the next person is Marcus. Um, thank you, Everest. Good morning. Um, so I'm from Geza Hill's team and I believe he's shared quite a lot on how we've been able to um, progress as a team. Uh, the goal for us is also to finish task one by end of the day today and progress to the interim submission. Um, maybe I might have a question just directed to Martin's team. If maybe they can share what team strategies they have in place to see to it that they were able to finish pre-processing um, uh, over the last two days and be able to progress to the modeling. Maybe the rest of us can borrow a thing or two. Yeah, Martin, do you have something to, to share? Yeah. Or someone from the group? <clears throat> okay uh yeah thank you for the question uh, yeah uh, for the pre-processing majorly uh it's you can divide it like to just some simple tasks because uh and like for example there's just the transcription loading the transcription the converting to channels the standardizing resizing augmentation and uh feature extraction i think basically that's just all that is required uh, with uh, our, uh, the, the, the pre-processing. And as long as you maintain it simple, as long as you maintain it simple, in fact, you can try to uh, work with just batch data sets you like, uh, because the good thing is uh, we are using data versioning and we are also using pipeline. So uh, we can be able to, you can be able to add the data as you, uh, change different versions so like for example you can start with a data set of maybe like 20 20 observations because maybe if it's a huge data set at times the data can run so slowly and you might not get to do so much at the end of the day so you can just get like at least even 20 observations i work with the 20 observations then uh, you go through it and show that everything runs through all the functions all the processing all everything that needs to be run and then you can be able to uh, see whether the functions are okay. Then 
if the functions are, are okay, you can scale up, you can go to 40 observations, then uh, 50, then 100, then 1000, like that. So uh, like for us, we just started with, with only 10 observations. We worked with them, uh, we tested them and looking at uh, the pre-processing features and running all that, So that because uh, I actually noticed that most of the people from our teams, uh, the, the machines that they're having, uh, they're not, uh, uh, powerful to the extent of maybe running uh, like the way you can run it on uh, Google Colab. So uh, that's the reason why uh, we just started with only 10 observations and then uh, we scale up uh, as, as as we continue uh, doing the evaluation. And when doing the model evaluation, I think we'll just continue scaling up until we reach uh, the complete uh, data set. So that's my advice uh, to everybody just uh, start first of all with the with little data and continue scaling it up as you change the versions of the data sets and also as you change the versions of the modeling in uh, uh, MLflow and DVC. Uh, thank you. Thanks, Martin. I saw Margaret's hands as well, and I hope you are from the same group. Margaret, do you have something to compliment? Um, a lot has been said by Martin, but I think what makes the group more effective is knowing the different skills that everyone possesses. So in a group, there could be the ones who are very good at the technical bits and the ones who are still new to it. So for example, Martin is uh, very well conversant with the coding part so he takes us through a lot of tutorials. Um, we have regular uh, video uh, Google Meets and he takes us through the project step by step and he makes sure that no one is left behind. So I think that is what makes it strong and everyone is at the same level. Uh, yeah, that's, that's what I have to add. Excellent. So Mar Margaret, Martin, and to share the strategies, and hopefully um, Daisy, I, I guess she's the one who asked that. You have noted me, and you can see if you can implement the same strategies according to how you see your group. And thanks also for asking this, because it's good to learn from one group to another. So it's great to, yeah, to, to to ask how other groups are doing. Uh, thanks so much. Let's hear from test five. I mean, Nardos, then next is test five. Good morning, everyone. How are you guys doing? You can hear me, right? Good morning. Uh, so I believe I'm the first one to speak for our group. And I'm gonna start by saying it's going well. Uh, we are all performing well. We, we divided most of the tasks in pairs, so which is great to let me learn a lot from each other. Everyone has different qualities, so I guess it complements each other and we're learning a lot. And we are mostly done with the first phase of the pre-processing stage. And I am sure we will be done for the today's submission. We will be ready. Uh, so far, we haven't faced any blockers, which is good news. And uh, yeah, that's the status. Thank you, Margaret and Martin, for the feedback. That's it's, it's a good advice, and thank you, guys. Thanks, Nados. Thanks, Nados, and glad to hear that your group is also on track. Uh, let's hear from uh, other person, test five, and we move to the next person, the volunteer. Okay. Hello, guys. Can you hear me? Hello. Hi, Tim. Hi. Yeah, so uh, good morning, all of you. Uh, so our progress on the first task for the interim submission is really good. We have uh, all have been uh, divided tasks. We have divided the uh, task one into nine, and we have worked on it uh, independently. Uh, so we are, we are we were successful at that and uh, we have also had discussions uh, yesterday and tomorrow uh, today also so uh, 
it was a successful meeting. Uh, we all have almost finished our parts, and uh, later on we will uh, combine every uh, task that we have done and merge it on the main branch so that the main branch will be clean. So we are, all of us are working on the branch where we can uh, manipulate and change uh, anything uh, we want so that uh, on the main branch uh, we would have uh, clean uh, uh, files notebooks and uh, python files so everything is going uh, good maybe uh, uh, if you call it a blocker i don't know so the only thing uh, we missed is the acoustic modeling if the tutors have any uh, information on acoustic modeling how it can be done um, it, i would be glad to hear that but yeah that's the progress is uh, good and uh, we will be ready for the intern project submission Thanks, Tespai. So, do you um, have any tutorial yeah. on the call? Yeah, I think it's, it's much more like that one will come. I'm not answering that question, but I have another question that actually I want to ask each group. Um, so, just temporarily, who are a spokesperson for that group? Um, so, I'm going to call and then I want to say, how many meetings do you have? Like, so since yesterday, I want to see in each group. How many meetings did you have like together how and what was the completion rate like that means how many attended okay so i want to ask remet uh, from group one hello so, um, our group have two managers uh all Fimi and Narcos are the managers for our group we have uh, at least from now six meetings maybe now do some right i think we have at the daylight as uh, the day and we have at night to check our progress okay and, and how was the completion how many attended all of them attended sometimes because of uh, light wind this yeah. uh, common uh, problems light uh, stuff like that some uh, sometimes we some one out of the people won't join yeah. For example, last night I, I couldn't join my life went out. So uh, still uh, uh, the managers will fill us an update on what we miss and we assign the tasks as Nardo says in pair. So one person can help the other out since the uh, project was new to most of us. So this is how okay. we will do it. So six, are uh, about six meetings, that's basically um, something. Yeah. Uh, in, how many team meet, meetings do you have? Huh? Uh, in, in a day, we have two meetings. Okay, One, two meetings. Yeah. Okay, and then then the Slack communications, do you have a channel or what, what, what do you have? Yeah, we have a group channel, a group. Okay, and so I want you to like compile it every day. You know, how many messages in a, a total, just that like, because you can look at the channel um how many how many messages uh, you guys exchange it overall just so that we get a, a feeling so you are the spokesperson so for that team so you would just be giving that kind of stuff the only reason i'm asking just for those of you who doesn't know is it's really sometimes a lot about it is just how much time you spend and uh, how much time also you spend together so how much time you spend per person and then how much time and those are a good metric usually to tell you, so that's why I wanted to, to see. Um, okay, so two meetings, a number of Slack exchanges, and you have already established. Okay, thanks, thanks, Simon. Okay, so group two, I want to know, um, Hewan? Mm, hi. Hi. Um, as for our group, um, we have a Slack channel to communicate. Uh, everyone is communicating there. Um, about the meeting, we had three meetings uh, until now. Um, so, so these are Google Meet meetings, three Google yeah. Meet meetings. Okay. Yeah, three Google Google G Meets, um, and we've added uh, our tutor to our group, and also he he attends uh, our meeting too, and uh, he com gives uh, suggestions on things that we uh, couldn't decide on. So uh, this is it. And how many did that it in the last three meetings? What? Oh, I, I think that's, okay. Yeah. Um, 
almost all, but uh, one person maybe. Uh, it's different every time. One person may may okay. join the class. Overall, overall, it's everybody it's, has attended at least. Yeah, one yeah, yeah, yeah. Almost yeah. Great. Thanks. Okay. And the same also, you know, what I I said for Renet, you should okay. just be compiling it. Just you know, like either just before the stand up or like in the evening just how many you know the total kind of message it's it's total message don't necessarily correspond to productivity but it just gives a certain an activity you know it's kind of um index okay okay, okay so, should i report it to, to yeah me? if you can just send me i would also be able to announce it here or share it with uh but it's exactly if you could just send it maybe the easiest is if you could send it to everest everyone even remit just before the stand up so that we we get that kind of idea and whoever is struggling we also can help um you know in these standards as well as also outside the standards so okay. but this is just again you know it's not about monitoring it's really about giving you an idea sometimes just the amount of time you spend on a, on something really is proportional to the amount of work that you finish right so that's um that's just a good good metric to to track and in industry, usually they they track that the indexes they track are basically the number of like in a sprint. So it will be a sprint cycle. So sprint cycle means it could be one week or two weeks. And then at the beginning of the sprint, you define what kind of tasks you want to break it down into a, a few sets and you assign value to them. So, for example, you would say, OK, this card, which is a very predefined thing to do, uh, the same as like our task. So our task becomes epics. So if you want to uh, speak in the language of uh, agile scrum, that would basically mean each of the tasks becomes epics. That means like something that is a big one set, like for example, pre-processing is one epics. And within that epics, there are like this number of um, tasks. And those basically you assign value based on the difficulty, based on the knowledge of the team. You would just, oh, based on the knowledge of the person who's doing it, you would assign a value, right? So let's say usually we you use Fibonacci series, so it's like either three, five, eight, thirteen, and, and like that. And then what you track is exactly you track that kind of number. So there is a commitment at the beginning of the sprint what you said you would do, and then and then the burn like that's called the the chart the burn chart um, that basically says at every time like every day you know how much of that thing is you are uh, finishing and that if it's a linear one then it's really great of course that that's the ideal one you want to do so it's it's that kind of thing is not i'm not inventing it now uh, for you to track it's a very similar thing in industry that's what you would do and it would really help you know the the kind of um it gives us an idea as a team like as uh, as basically let's call it we are a company like you know all of you are doing all of you are a team like the the five teams are kind of let's say departments and the whole the stand-up is basically like the company right so the, let's say the tech team so we want to track that and and see and compare just so that it will inspire others it will uh, make others of course also that they are in the same um, good progress okay thanks Ewan. so i hope that motivates and that clarifies the purpose and then the next is Aiden. What about your team? Hello. Hello, Aiden. Yeah. I'm so sorry. No, um, uh, we have two to three meetings per day, and uh, we might also have some um random meetings if someone wants to have a clarification on a specific task and um as for the members usually um we are attending we're all attending it uh, perfectly and um if someone is absent maybe as uh, some person will um will mention it and try to make them understand what is what they're saying for example i've been absent yesterday and brooke has told me what happened and yeah we're Great, going awesome so that means at least one person has attended 
at least one, you know, uh, everyone has attended at least one meeting or at least they are active. Yes, more than one, actually. Okay, wonderful. Okay, so great. Again, for you, just if you could just very simple that the one that you just will get, you know, the number of meetings that, they, you know, that happened, it's very countable. And the number of messages, you know, in, in Slack, if you go to the right and, and see like that stats, you can, you can get maybe the stats. So just if you could send it just to um, Everest the, before the standard, that would be great. Okay, I'll do that. Wonderful, thanks. Um, okay. And so next is Daniet, Danite. Hello, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. So we 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 had a meeting twice this morning and the day before yesterday. Okay. Uh, and and uh, do you have a group? Like, do you have a channel that you're communicating? How active is it? How... Yes, yes. We, we do have a Slack channel. That's where we communicate. Okay. And have you, has everyone attended at this one meeting? So you had two? Yes. Some have been having a connection problem, but they, they are attending. Yeah. Okay. They are active. Okay. Wonderful. So also, can you do the same? It's like just to send before the stand up tomorrow, just the overall message, you know, uh, total message or the total activity, whatever is that means. Like that basically means, let's imagine Monday to Tuesday, was that increased or decreased? You can also mention it that way. Um, okay. But something that's that about the activity of the group and then how overall it's kind of the number of meetings has increased, decreased, uh, has uh, everyone is attending, everyone active, or is someone experiencing really a big issue, consistent issue, for example, because they couldn't connect due to something and something like that. Just again, this is not for monitoring. For me, it's much about like, okay, is there anything we can help? Again, you can also inform your, your tutor like about that so that we can help that person. So the whole point for us, this is week four, is that we want everyone to continue to week five, right? And which means I have seen a really a lot of progress in everyone. Um, and definitely it really convinced us with just the right feedback and we are with the right uh, assistance, everybody will just be amazing. And I think that's really a commitment that we had, but this group, especially uh, batch five, actually made it really clear that is possible. So that's why just much more of like trying to understand and help when there is a need for help, just you know, early, not late, would definitely make it uh, better. Okay, great. Thanks, the night. Um, and uh, Selina, in about group five. Maybe we can hear from the other group mates because I don't yeah, see Serena is not here. Okay. Um, so let's the next one, Matilda. Um, okay, so for my, for our group, we've had at least um all members attend at least one meeting. We've been having two meet at least two meetings in a day since Monday. And mm. um yeah, the progress is good. We we have been each and every person has been performing their task as as expected so yeah that's our report okay so you have a group channel and you are all meeting so i i i didn't oh. hear so how many meetings do you have per day or so far oh okay so we have a telegram group channel and we also yeah. have a slack group channel and yeah. we've had two meetings at least two in a day okay. one in the morning and the other one in the evening Wonderful. Okay, so yes. you know, in on like on behalf of maybe um, your spokesperson, Serena, can you also just either tell her, inform her, just so that to, she can send like this, just stat or you to um, Everest, just so that he can and the, before the stand up tomorrow or before the stand ups, so that we we'll just have a clear idea. Okay. Okay, we'll do that. Yeah. Okay, great. Thanks. I think the, the, the thing that I wanted to show with that is, you know, I think this is really amazing. You know, I, I can tell you batch for a lot of, I mean, here there is uh, Desmond, I think he could also tell you 
there was a, a much less activity uh, participation and some people were left behind because they felt they don't have their the same skill as others and they just waited until they were to, you know they were to be told what to do and nothing happened and so you know they didn't really benefit from the group and i think what we want this time is of course you say it you know we saw the impact of week two after week two the uh, at week three even individual work has really increased the quality overall so basically it really was a big change uh, from week one to week two week three and so we want to continue like that so everybody being included their strings kind of being complemented and then they grasp the idea and then move forward with speed, right? So, and I believe, I think that's that's this this way of like everyone participating, not everyone left behind, everybody in the group having a clear task to do um, is, is important. So that's why, thanks everyone. And now I will hand it over back to you, um, Everest. Thanks, Yabi. I guess, thanks so much for Japanese and also this is really, really great. Um, I don't think we have much to probably to continue with as we have had for most of the groups, unless we have uh, someone with a few questions. Um, yeah. Otherwise, and, and, and just the one one before that, actually, just I have been again, you might have seen that uh, some grades have been returned. Um, one of the challenge that we are experiencing is that people a lot of the people submit of course what's requested for example when it's a screenshot they submit screenshot but then some of you really just didn't take screenshot and then you just submit the same thing the github link i think that's not a good thing because sure like we can go and check but you're you're making us work much a lot and grading uh accounting i think the one part that we really don't want to miss is that somebody who has worked hard to be you know for us not to notice it because that's really grades for us we are not university we don't care about the particular grade what we want is are you you know we use assignments and submission mostly for you know let's say you work hard you get you basically get noticed you are told that you are doing really well excellent keep up and you are not doing well then we say like okay i think you have to improve and as you can see in the system in the 10x system we'll also just be saying will also be really telling you like what are the next things to do to to get to the track like, or are you on track and that means if you really just tell us like that because in the screenshots what what we usually mean is the output of your work we will probably unable to run everybody's i mean we won't run everybody's code so the way for us to learn about your code is from reading your git and then about the output of your code is actually by asking you a screenshot of that so please just really make sure that you submit what's requested. Don't give us too much work because it would feel so bad to just because you didn't submit a screenshot to give you zero. Like, I mean, like it just this doesn't make sense because we're not we're not like that kind of oh like you know where is my golden word or I told you so so you didn't do that therefore I will just do. It. so it's not that we don't want to do that. So you you put a lot of stress and work for us. And we'll definitely miss what you have done or we'll misattribute. So I would really say like after this week, like so the week four, please just submit if it's a screenshot, submit only screenshots that will help us kind of look at the output of your code. If it's a GitHub link, of course, you submit the GitHub link. If it is, says EDA, you know, maybe submit just if if it if it if in your folder there is called notebook, and if you have put everything there in the notebook, great. But if you have put your notebook somewhere else, which is not in the notebook, we probably were un unable to find it, okay? So it's really help us to not misrepresent or, you know, uh, wrongly uh, take the credit from you. So I wanna just stress it because this week, this I was just checking and I was like, all of the screenshots, most of them are GitHub links. And I was really not sure how to even verify. And also because the way we do is that the tutors also at one point they go and they grade and then we go again together we review because we don't want to miss like the kind of work that you do so it just becomes harder and harder if it's just you know like we have to do we have to try to find where actually your um your results are whether you even if if you put all your screenshots 
in the Git, it's fine. But just submit and tell us that all of the screenshots are in this Git folder. Fantastic. I think we don't really care about, you know, you can do that. So if it's easy for you to put all your screenshots in one folder in Git and then submit the link for that, we are more than happy. Right? But we need ultimately, whether it's in Git or whether it's in Google Class, we want to be able to see the output of the code. Hopefully that's clear. If it's if something is not clear, please ask questions here. But I would expect people kind of respect that because we don't have that much resource to to really go and you know um, dig things that are not clear. Okay, is that is that clear? If it's clear, please just thumbs up or say clear um, because I just I think that you know we want to go ahead after this. Um, great. Okay, so for most of you, it's clear. Wonderful. So then, yeah, from my side, then that's it. Thanks. Thanks, everybody. So one quick announcement from my side is uh, tomorrow, Thursday, you will hear from us uh, what's going to be next. Um, we're expecting the next to be um, week five, but what are the, what's next? So you will hear from us, you will hear an email from uh, Prova Brimi or from Train at 10 Academy. So keep doing what you're doing, guys. Um, thanks for coming for today's uh, standard. Yeah, um, so AWS instance, by the end of today, you will get uh, your DDI as also Martin that you were asking. So we are working on it and then on acoustic modeling. So let, let's, let me see who is, I think probably Desmond is the right person to, to, to do. So Desmond, if Desmond is in the team, maybe can you arrange a quick uh, call? But if not, I can also do it later today. So we will uh, we'll, we'll get back to you, Tesfaye, and uh, think is that yeah, your question on acoustic modeling. So that is which group are you? Just just so that we can also um, yeah. So you are in group two. So that's Desmond. So great. Um, hopefully Desmond will will be able to reach out. But if yeah, ask it again if it's not. But I will make sure that uh, Desmond reached out to you or we arrange one at least a very mini um, tutorial on that if anyone is struggling. Thanks, that's fine. All right. Um, okay. Cheers, guys. Have a nice day. Bye.